So some of you may know, I went to Disney recently and it was the very first trip for the Soap and Clay Kidlets. It was a trip that had been scheduled in 2020 and, you know, that obviously got canceled and postponed until realistically 2023 when we got to go to Disney. And so the Kidlets got to experience Disney for the first time and it was epic. It was everything that you would think it could be and more and some sad things too. It was, it was a lot. Anyway, the first day we get there, we, you know, get through the gate or whatever and there are already, you know, how Disney is with merch everywhere, right? And so at the very first kind of info thing, there's also just a wall of ears, right? And that's obviously something that you have to do when you go to Disney for the first time is select your perfect ears. And so the kids were aware of this. They knew that that's what was going to be happening over the week. I let them know you don't have to pick one right away. You can see all of them throughout the park. And then when you finally decide on one, your perfect very first Mickey ears, then that's great. We'll get them, you know, whatever. Anyway, wall of ears as soon as we walk in. And there are like probably 30 or 40 options at this particular, you know, stand. So we start walking over to them and I'm kind of scanning it or whatever because I'm looking for my ears for this trip too because that's also a thing. You get a new pair of ears every time you go. It's known. It's like a law or something. And Open Clay Kidlet number two made a beeline straight for one pair of ears. Like she had already found her perfect pair within five seconds, right? And these were her perfect ears. And when I say that there was nothing else on the planet that could have brought me more joy than seeing that look of complete and total just joy on this child's face, I don't think I've ever seen that kid grin so hard. She's a normally happy kid. She's always smiling, but that was just something over the top. She was in her absolute bliss stage. She had found her very favorite, most perfect ears for her very first ears at Disney. And throughout the rest of the week, even though she knew that she could exchange these for any other ears in the park, she wouldn't dare. These were hers. And while she looked at a lot of other ones, those were the ones that spoke to her. And there are no words to express as a parent how happy it made me that something like that was able to make her that happy. And so yeah, heartwarming moments all around. And I am saying this not because we're making that particular pattern, because we're not, but Soap and Clay Kidlet number two has selected the pride soap that we are making today. And so you know, you got to see her with her pride ears on and all of the jazz, and that's awesome. And I will tell you what soap we are making today in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for week 24 of year three. And yeah, we're making more pride soaps today. And today we are actually doing the non-binary flag in soap form because Soap and Clay Kidlet number two selected that one as a run in this year's soaps. Now, she just generally likes all of the different flags and the variations that exist, you know? And so every year she ends up wanting me to do a different one in soap form and we get to pick out the scents and everything together. And this was the one that she decided on this year, which I think is super cool and kind of difficult though for me because it has purple in it and I notoriously am terrible at purples and obviously I have to nail it for this one. So. Let's get to the video and see if I manage to do so or if I completely screw everything up. Yeah, purple we meet again. So here's the thing. First off, if my voice sounds different, 
right now as it just did like you know five seconds ago during the intro part that's for a reason i am dealing with you know summer and allergies and having a difficult time with all of the stuff that's in the air and um i'm having to come in and do a re-record on the voiceover for this video that was supposed to go out you know several days ago almost a week ago at this point um because of the the weirdness that i experienced on the first pride soap video that was released for this and to be honest th this is not something that's new i understand that that's what happens every time i post anything that supports the lgbtqia plus community that supports the queer community i receive some very just, just awful people awful people come out of the woodwork uh people that are my sudsers who i trusted also come out of the woodwork and uh show their bigotry and it doesn't really extend it's not just with the queer space it's with you know the, the racist bullshit that people have said and these are real people i always thought they were bots they're not bots i've looked at their their youtube channels and uh you know they're, they're posting some of the worst things ever out there so again this was to be expected and um i have sort of been quiet about any hot button quote unquote issues over the past few years as a res as a response to that because i just don't want to deal with it but all I did in the first video was announce that it's Pride Month, make a six color layered soap, and let everyone know who shops my website that, as per usual, 100% of those profits are going to organizations that are queer friendly. And um, it got wild. It got weirder this year than it ever has been before, and it kind of freaked me out. And so I stopped and I paused because this particular video was um, the one that included my, my child's face, right? And so I, of course, I, I, I stopped. I like to think about, you know, the consequences of anything, really. I'm not a reactionary person. That's not, I, I'm kind of not coded to be that. And so I wanted to think and I sought counsel from Obviously, Mr. Soap and Clay, from my parents, from my brother and his wife, from my people people, about how to proceed. Because obviously, the thing that I don't want is my child being weaponized in this very strange new agenda that the anti-gay community has going. And right now, that agenda seems to be conflating you know, gender identity and sexual orientation, which is wrong. It's, it's inaccurate. Those are two completely different things. And thinking about that, when I learned of this, because I don't keep up with, you know, what the far right does, because this is far right. This is not an attack on any of the conservative sudsers that exist. I know that some of my audience is conservative, and I am not against conservative values. I am the type of person that believes we should reach across the aisle and work together to find solutions that work best for everybody. But that does not include discrimination. That does not include equality and human rights. I, I do not believe that there are two sides to this issue. I believe that all humans deserve equal treatment. And I believe that the, you know, that that is a view, this idea of equality is that this view is something that is shared among, you know, conservatives and liberals alike for normal, rational people. I don't think it's ever a good idea to look at the politics of the extreme right or the extreme left in deciding the overall, you know, characteristics and benchmarks of any political group. That said, I don't believe 
human rights are political or should they be political. I think it's very gross that we are continuing to do this in the year of our Lord 2023 with just another group of people, right? This is the same debate that we've had time and time and time again over the course of human history, like trying to decide what group of people is superior to another. And that's ridiculous. That's actually crazy that we continue to have these conversations and these debates like they're not whole ass people, you know? And so, yeah, no, I, I will not tolerate any of that on this channel for sure. And I also will reject the notion that I made it political by acknowledging that it was Pride Month and then proceeding to go ahead and just talk about the soap for two freaking videos. Yeah, I made two pride flags, but I weirdly and awkwardly spent a ton of time doing a play-by-play -play in those videos about the soap itself. You know what I mean? Um, I don't ever do that. I'm telling you the colors of the soap. I am talking about the process and how I never do that. I squirrel like you would not believe. And I made it a point to do that for reasons that we will talk about more on the podcast, certainly, but just, you know, TLDR here, because I do respect that this is a soap channel. And while I'm, I've never made anything overly political or, you know, whatever, that's never been the focus of any of my videos, literally never. It's always been about the soap. The whole idea of me also showing a piece of my life and the things that I am important, that are important to me that's always been here. This is not the first time I've done, you know, a pride soap. I mean, we've done the bisexual flag. We've done the lesbian flag. This is the non-binary flag. We've done this over the years. This is not new. And to assume that I suddenly started this, you know, because reasons is really kind of ridiculous. It kind of suggests that you're not really paying attention to the person that I am across the board and that's fine. But if you haven't picked up on it by now, I am that kind of person. And in my real life, I pick these kind of fights. If you believe that any person is a lesser human for insert any reason here, that they have nothing to do with, be it the color of their skin or their gender or who they love, you are not my people and I don't want you here. And that really is where it stands with me. That is my bottom line. And so, you know, I guess this serves as, I don't know, me notifying you that here, in case you missed it, there is no place for discrimination or intolerance or racism or bigotry. None. And yes, I have two title cards in a row that say nailed it because I nailed it. These bars are absolutely gorgeous and they came out like a dream. And I love all of the different scents that were put into this to create it. It was very cool. It was very fun. It was very awesome. And you know, Scout was the one who decided on all of this. And I guess that's the biggest, you know, reason why I am at the place where I am. Again, this is a soap channel. And so I'm not going to make the political stuff here or the activist stuff or the liberal. That's it's still soap. And we can do all of that on the podcast for sure. So if you want more information about all of that, you can find it on the podcast. Did I mention we have a podcast now? The first episode might actually be out by the time you see this. I don't know. But we're going to talk about all that shit there. But because... Scout is who she is and is this beautiful, awesome human that just wants everybody to have a seat at the table. And because this is, she is a warrior for all injustices in life because in her mind, she doesn't get why there should be any sort of, you know, discrimination. Everybody should be treated equally. This is the kid who single-handedly took on our school district this year because uh, she was told, like the first week of school, 
that it was inappropriate to talk about the queer community in school. It's inappropriate conversation for school. And uh, she forced the school to start actually abiding by the policies for equality and tolerance and anti-discrimination. That's the kind of kid she is. And so I'm not going to be silenced on this anymore. I'm not going to just go along to get along. That's not who I am as a normal person in life. And honestly, why I did that for this channel is a pretty uh, big source of shame for me. And uh, I will talk about that more in tomorrow's video. I guess this is just the first... uh, This is a warning, actually. This is the last time that I'm nice about it. In tomorrow's video, I am going to start calling out people that have said really horrible things in my comment section. Because this is not a place for you to dump your bad takes. And I am going to uh, stop being silent about that starting tomorrow. But like I said, there's a non-binary flag and it's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, of course I nailed it. I can't not nail it for this. You know what I mean? These are the pride soaps. They have to be on point. Scent blend, also very unique. I really liked her idea of putting a different scent into each of the colors. That's fun, you know? And so it ends up smelling like something that's completely indescribable and awesome and just really delightful all around. So I love that. And it gave me another opportunity to use some of my scents that are known to discolor because mostly I try to stay away from those during the spring and summer months, preferring to go for the lighter colored bars. But with this, since it had the activated charcoal in there as well, totally worked out. I love them. If you are interested in these, you can totally pick them up at soapandclay.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you to the Sudzers. You guys are epic and awesome. Thank you to Soap and Clay Kidlet number two. Being a mom is a really awesome thing, just generally. You know what I mean? Just the idea of being a mom. But be a mom to two amazing children that have these really fun, awesome, unique personalities and ways of looking at the world and just... It's an absolute delight and having soap and clay kidlet number two, you know, participate in the business and do the things and, you know, they'll want to be a part of the things that I'm doing is absolutely beautiful. That's not to say soap and clay kidlet number one doesn't also do that, you know, but this has never been her project. It's always been soap and clay kidlet number two's thing. So there's that. I am out of here for today. I'm going to actually go hang out with my kidlets and I just heard them come in the front door from school. So Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys all again tomorrow, probably, for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye. Hello? Oh, it's just you? Hello? Text Annalisa's mom in, uh, oh, by the way, yeah. what? Did you get a text? It's just, it's oh, he's a volunteer. I'm actually from London and Tuesday. I'm still recording. I